welcome back everyone so this is part three of my nail room organization i know you guys have been waiting for this one so this will be the last video in the organization videos and i'll have the other two videos down below in the description if you want to watch them too to see everything i did with my alex drawer so i'm going to get started right away I did pull this out of my Rubbermaid container. These are all my fold cover nail tips. And I just want to show you where I keep them all. And they're going to go in the Alex drawers as well in these certain containers that I actually got from the dollar store. So I'll show you them and I'll show you how I mark them. And it's just an easier way of keeping this all organized. So these are the containers. The craft storage box. And what I did, so if I had the square full tips or the oval or the coffin, I would put them there and then I'll just show you when I open it up. So as you can see, then I just numbered each one with my label maker and then I placed them in there. So that works really good. I'm just going to check to see. I don't think I have any more of these, but I do have another container and I might have to add some of those tips into those containers so it's finished so they can all go in there and in these versus in the bags. So here's another one of those containers again and this time I have short stiletto, short square and medium coffin. Now I do do a lot of press on nails. I did mostly over COVID when everybody was in lockdown so I have a whole lot of them. So I might add some more to this one because I do have some medium coffin in these bags so I'll fill it up and then I won't have those bags anymore. So this bag, of course, is coffin medium, so I'm going to put them in this one over here. And like I said, I have numbered 0 to 4 and then 5 to 9, so I'm going to fill that up real quick. Now these ones have an 11, so I'm going to put it back here and I'll have to label that like at the very back there's a spot. So I do have another medium, oh this one's stiletto I guess, okay so I do have another medium in the coffin which could go in there and I have an extra extra large stiletto in the fold nail tips and extra long coffin. I'm not going to do those right now but I do have another container to put them in so one day when I have more time I'm going to add all of these and label them and then that'll be done. Okay, so getting back to my tips, these are my full nail tips that I put in here and I do have two more of these containers so whatever I put in these I am going to fill, it's not going to be today. When I have more time I'm going to put them all in their containers and mark them so I know, so I'm just going to add some more 
uh, full tips that I have to this drawer for now and then I'll get them all sorted when I have time. So of course these are full tips in the natural. So I have some e-nail couture and these are look like stiletto long ones so I'll add those. I also have some McCart tips as well which I don't think I've put in the big one yet so I'm either gonna put it in here like this because these are the McCart these are I think are extra long full nail tips and then the e-nail couture these are the I think medium coffin but obviously I don't have room in here right now so I might just if I can fit which I can't I'm gonna put them in another drawer until I get it better organized because I do have a couple extra drawers to fill yet so the next drawer that I have available is down here I'll just move my camera down here They're just going to go in here and probably on the weekend I'll get to these and move them up to this drawer up top. So we've got those. I have a few other ones, full nail tips for my uh, red iguana practice hands. So they can go in here for now too. And I also have all my regular weld tips that I use on my clients. And I think I might just stick them up here for now and in this drawer and then I know where they all are same with my tip cutter and all the other accessories I have for that so these are all extra weld tips so I'm just gonna put them in here for now and I've also got here I'll move my camera so you can see better so I have short weld tips too so I'm just gonna put them in here right now and I've also got this is my main one I use all the time, so it's my well tips as well, but this is the one I pull out with clients. So I'll just throw it in here for now. And then there's the short tips in a container. And here are my extra well tips that I use on all my clients. So I will just put them back here for now. And I think, oh, I have a bit more here. Now these are for, like I use these if I do a French ombre and they want a really soft look on a new set of nails. So I'll use those and same with these. These are the same, they're just in a container. So those can go there for now. So that's all of my tips. I just have my clips for clipping the nail just to make a better C curve. And I've also got these clear ones as well. So I'll put them all in here. And my tip cutters will go in here. I just have to sanitize them yet. They're in, I'll show you here. Okay, so I have a container that says need sanitizing. So I've got to do all this today. If you ever want to see a video how I do that, let me know and I'll upload a video but this is what I'm going to clean first before I can go back in here my tip cutters are in here and I don't know if you remember my video where I have the little magnets for cutting the tips the full nail tips well I've got them in here I'll just show you tiny little magnets so you can cut your tips to a perfect size. You can see that video in the top right hand corner. It's a neat video to watch to see how I use these but they're going to go in there too so I know where they are. So I'll put them right in there. I think that's everything for now this drawer is going to stay like this. I might change it like I'm going to put the full nail tips all in one in those bigger containers like I said so I've got to rearrange that. This may stay my weld tips I use all the time or I do have a tiny Tupperware container I put where the old one was. It's really small. I might stick them over there. I haven't decided so that's what we'll have for now anyways is this drawer. So I'm definitely wanting to finish the last two drawers so I can get this out of here. And oh yes, this is my New Yorkshire Terrier puppy, Mia. She's four months old. Hi Mia. You say hi to everybody. So cute and she's just such a good puppy already. But anyways, back to the drawers. I'm going to pull this one out. Now this is definitely more storage miscellaneous items. So I'm going to pull it out, go through it all, and then it'll go in that very bottom drawer for storage. So. I'll just bring the camera around to pull everything out. 
Okay, so first thing, of course, just some bags for my garbage so they can go down in that bottom drawer. So in this basket, I've got some sanitized uh, toenail clips for soaking off gel polish. And we've got some finger ones for soaking off gel polish. And I've got some more finger ones here. Some cotton balls for soaking, obviously. And then model ones have given me some these are removal uh, soak off wipes so you put them around your finger and it has some acetone in them and it soaks off both of these are the same thing just look a little different and then I've just got a foot pedal for one of my files but I think I'm gonna throw this away there's no need for it I don't use it and it's just gonna take up space so in this drawer I also had a filter for my vent on my desk so I'm gonna have to change it here right away so there's the extra one in this drawer I also have some acrylic colors some more soak off type little things for your fingers and some sponges oh and also some more sponges I also have some more cotton balls for soaking and some foil to soak with as well. This is for hair but it works really good because it has the sharp side so you can take as many or as big a piece as you want from this so it works really good for that. So that's everything in that drawer so I'm just going to take it over and organize it in the Alex drawer now. So I'm going to stick the cotton balls in here, I think, as well. Everything to do with soaking. A few more cotton balls, so I'll just stick them in there. And as well, the model ones. Soak off wipes. So now I know where all that is, so it can go in the back. I don't usually soak off very often, so it's not something that I need out. Okay, so I'm going to use this basket, I think, for the rest. So we just have the sponges. Oh, yes, and these can go into the soak off as well. So I'm just going to put this in here like this right now. And I can add to that as I find. Now I just bought these from the dollar store. They're for the chrome powders. And I probably will put it in the bottom because they're extras once I'm done using the other ones that I've already got. So I'll just put them with the sponges and I can find them easily. Now my filter, I'm just going to be putting that in my desk probably pretty quick. So I'll just put it in my drawer on my desk because I'll be using it. Now the paints, I'll probably just stick with my gels. So my gel drawer is right here. Now I'm finding I have a shelf liner on here, but when I'm closing the drawer, it's all going to the back. The shelf liner isn't staying put so I might put a little bit of sticky tack on the corners under the shelf liner just so that it's not moving because as you can see my drawer is not as neat as it was because they keep going back and forth but I am going to put the paint in there I think at the back so that I know where it is and if I need it for anything so those two drawers are done for now Okay, so this is the last drawer, and as you can see, I have a bunch of odds and ends that I do use. So I'm just going to pull everything out and look at what I've got, and then I'll put it in those drawers as well. Okay, so in this one, I have some stamping heads. Before I had the clear jelly stamper, I used these, and they worked really well. Not as good as the clear jelly stamper because you can't see through them, but this was kind of the big thing before they came out. So I've got them with the two extra heads on it. And I'll see if I can see what they're called. So it was from the creative shop. So I'm just going to add those to my stamping drawer, obviously, and might as well keep them. You never know, I might use them again. And then I just have a couple of 
these glass jars for doing water decals, water decals, whatever you want to call them. And this is for my soak off machine that I've done a review. If you want to see the review of this soak off machine that was sent to me for review, you can see that card in the top right hand corner. And this is another just a dish if I wanted to soak anything off. So I really don't need all of them. I might keep up keep a couple. And then just some extra rings. These are the actual shower curtain rings. They're a little stronger than the ones you get with the tip. So I bought these to use them instead if I need them. So I had these little tiny ones for putting in small bottles. I have this for doing my armrests. And I also have some extra sticky tack for if I need it for tips or whatever. And a bigger one of them and I have another small one. And then I just had some duct tape. I'm not sure what I needed that for, but I might take that out. I don't think I need it that badly in here. So I'm gonna try and organize this into that bottom drawer if I can. And then in the drawer I also had some pens and pencils if I needed them for any art or anything. So I'm gonna put them inside my desk drawer with things that I have that are similar. Okay, going back to this drawer. I'm just gonna grab a few of these things, put them maybe in here. Actually, these these I'm gonna move somewhere else. I'm gonna put them with all my, they're gonna go in with all my chromes so I know where they are. I just stuck them right there. Even to put them right here would be fine. And then I know where they are. Now this I will stick at the back with the other one. And these can go down here. And same with the extras of these. They can just go in here. And I know where they are. And that's it for that drawer. I think I have everything I need in there and it's more storage than anything. I'm just going to make sure these are down enough. Okay, that should be good. Now I'm going to take these and add them to my stamping drawer. Oh, and I should let you know I did change my stamping drawer a bit. I did get another holder from the dollar store, so I added it to this drawer because the last part one I had it a little different. So this was added. This is from the dollar store, like I said. I just figured that'd be nicer for my polishes to just be all in that one. And then, of course, I still have all my stampers on that side, so I'm just going to add these stampers to this drawer. So I think I'll just put it back here and I have all these extra ones I do have to put in my book yet and another extra scraper so that can go here it's a good one and I might just put this little insert on how to use this properly with the stamper underneath so I don't lose it and otherwise this box I can throw away and these extra ones, like I said, I will put in my book, so I'll just leave them there so I don't forget. Otherwise, that drawer is done. Okay, so I have this one drawer left. Now, if you remember, I had all my striping tapes done. So I'm just going to put them in here for now. This drawer needs, obviously, some more art, but right now this is where I'm going to stick my striping tapes because they get used a lot. And I have a little striping tape dispenser. I'm just going to put in there with it so I don't lose it and I'll show you here right away. This is it. So I'll put it in there in case I need it. And for now, I'm also going to put, I have to sort my Christmas glitters from Glitter Mix Canada and put them in one of these. I'll show you these containers which are from Amazon. I can put the link for them if you need, but I'm going to sort all of the Christmas ones in one and I'll do that soon. So for now, it's going to go in there as well. And I also have some props, 
sometimes for videos so this needs to be sprayed down before I put it in here but it's gonna go in one of these drawers or just in here for now the Tupperware container is now gone from the corner and yeah I think that's it and if I need anything else to be put in these drawers I will add it and rearrange where need be so I think that's it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed this one this is the last of the come organize with me videos the nail or organization 2021 so thanks everybody for watching and if you could please like and subscribe that'd be great and I'll see you guys all in the next one <laughs>